this segment is devoted to emphasizing the harmful effects of extra insulin. We know from earlier presentations that obese people have a drive of extra insulin that makes them fatter and fatter until they become diabetic. But there are other conditions that respond to extra insulin in a harmful way. And it's best explained on the basis of something called compensatory hyperinsulin. That is, we have insulin resistance and the body needs more insulin in order to control the blood sugar, then the body automatically provides this so that the blood sugar doesn't go above normal. But the expense of this is that the extra insulin can do damage in certain important areas. The first one that I want to mention is that certain cancers can be driven by insulin. <clears throat> and we know that uh, increasing evidence is coming out that cancers of the breast, of the ovary, of the prostate, and the lung, and so on, and maybe more is yet to be determined, are being made to progress more rapidly because of the cellular stimulation of insulin. That's one of its major actions. Another one is that insulin has the capacity to induce thrombosis in various important organs. That is, heart disease and strokes and so on can be actually facilitated by what we call the pro-coagulant action of insulin. It's a little bit complicated, but the components that make up <laughs> the clotting mechanism are driven toward a clotting rather than an anticoagulant effect under the influence of insulin. And when this is recognized, it's another reason for bringing insulin down. Another important consideration is an emerging <coughs> uh, awareness of the fatty liver syndrome. Now, Fatty liver is something that we rarely uh, heard of in the er earlier days of the century, but now it's realized now that uh, fatty liver is the most common cause of liver cirrhosis and ultimately of liver cancer. And probably these patients with fatty livers constitute the greatest number of those who need liver transplants. Now, fatty liver is driven by <coughs> the effect of insulin stimulating the production within the liver of uh, triglycerides, which is a storage form of fat, and that in turn seems to stimulate a reproductive uh, process in cells that, that, that may and ultimately does turn from scar to malignancy. Now, there's another one that has to be mentioned, and that is uh, we've talked about the polycystic ovarian disorder with or without obesity, and it seems in this instance insulin is the driving force to the metabolic and hormonal abnormalities that characterize this disorder. So we have to reduce insulin in one way or another, either by weight loss or by a medication called metformin. So I think that this sums up the issue here, and it should be remembered that insulin is not an angel of mercy in every case, but does have deleterious effects.